today? Well, we're here today uh, with traditional owners from the Jewel Native Title Group uh, to contest the environmental approval that was given for the Yaliri uranium mine. Uh, and this approval was given uh, against the advice of the EPA by the previous government. And we know that this project, if it goes ahead, would cause the extinction of multiple species. Uh, so we're here today in the Supreme Court of Appeal uh, to appeal the previous Supreme Court uh, judgment uh, that upheld that decision. Uh, and this is a very important decision for uh, Western Australians and wildlife in general uh, because it will set a legal precedent to uh, determine whether or not a minister can actually sign off on the extinction of wildlife species. What are the species that would be destroyed? In this case we're talking about subterranean fauna, underground fauna, uh, up to 11 species that would uh, be extinct as a result of this project. But the way that our legal system works, uh, this actually sets a precedent which is extremely worrying for all species uh, across Western Australia. If a minister can sign off uh, on the extinction of Steiger fauna, then a minister can also potentially sign off on the extinction of numbats or Carnaby's cockatoos or any of our other iconic wildlife that we need to protect. 11 species of Steiger fauna? That's right, so Steiger fauna is an underground uh, species that uh, is unique to this particular area where the Yaliri uranium mine is proposed. This is why the EPA uh, rejected uh, the original proposal and made advice to the Minister to say that the proposal shouldn't go ahead. Uh, and then uh, the Minister also upheld an appeal uh, by the proponent uh, which challenged that uh, original advice from the, uh, from the Environmental Protection Authority. So the, the Minister um, uh, has gone against not only the EPA's advice uh, but also his own appeal determination in allowing this project to proceed. There has been some discussion in the past maybe even some speculation about the existence of these species elsewhere in the Pilbara. Uh, is it possibly the case that some of these uh, some of these stiger fauna might exist as well? Well the proponent Chemico has been to a lot of effort to uh, try and uh, determine that these species exist in other places uh, and so far hasn't been able to produce that evidence and it's on that basis that the EPA has rejected the proposal uh, but uh, it, it, was, it was the minister that ignored that advice to, to, and went ahead and approved the mine. So the issue is there's an absence of evidence of them existing elsewhere? That's right and, and, and the, the um, the, it, it's, it's the responsibility of the proponent to go through the environmental impact assessment process and to prove that uh, they're not going to cause an irreversible impact on the environment, in this case cause the extinction uh, of several species of, of Steiger fauna. You refer to traditional owners. Traditional owners also support the mine, Well, the Jewel Native Title Group uh, has only recently uh, been granted native title, so they've only recently been come in, into legal effect. Uh, I don't believe that the Jewel Group as a whole has made a decision as to whether it supports this mine or not. But we've been working with uh, a number of, of traditional owners from the Jewel Group for a very long time. Uh, the uh, aunties Shirley and Elizabeth uh, Wanyabong, who are part of the appeal today, uh, have been fighting this particular proposal for over 40 years. There's a long history to this proposal. Uh, it goes back a long time with BHP uh, originally proposing to mine uranium at the Yaliri site. Uh, and these particular uh, uh, traditional owners have been fighting that for a very long time. Uh, so this is their opportunity to have their day in court as well. Uh, and, and they're really trying to uh, protect uh, uh, traditional lands, sacred lands, uh, around that Yaliri site uh, that are very important uh, for them and, and their uh, dreaming and song lines. So what has changed recently is that the TOs have actually become uh, a legitimate native title holders. That's right. Uh, the Jewel have now been granted native title and, and are now uh, are constituted as a native title group. Uh, but I don't believe that they've made a decision uh, in respect of whether they support this mine or not. I suspect they're waiting to hear the outcome of this particular court case. Are you worried, um, even if you want to secure the federal government, um, advice, federal government could overturn it? Well, the federal government hasn't made a decision to approve this mine uh, yet, and they're waiting to see the outcome of this court case. And that's one of the good things about this legal process is that it has held up uh, the Commonwealth government from being able to proceed uh, and make a decision to allow the mine to go ahead. Uh, the federal government have also got responsibility, legal responsibility for the protection of wildlife, and I don't think that they would be able to go ahead uh, and make a decision under the federal environment laws to allow the extinction of species uh, if we're successful in this court case today. Uh, but we have been appealing to the Commonwealth Government uh, to let them know that they have uh, very um, 
uh, important legal responsibilities to protect wildlife under that legislation uh, and that they shouldn't allow uh, any extinction to occur at Yaliri. Uh, and that's something that we'll be taking to any future government uh, after this, this court case has been heard. Well, I think that uh, any government needs to consider this project on its merits, and if it is going to cause the extinction of species, which we know is the case, that's what the EPA has previously recommended, the proponents provided no additional information to suggest that that's not the case, uh, and, and we shouldn't be approving under federal or state environment law uh, extinction of wildlife. It sets an appalling precedent, uh, and if it's a decision that's taken federally, it sets a federal precedent uh, for allowing the extinction of wildlife in the future uh, under Australia's uh, environmental protection laws, which are supposed to protect the environment, not allow the extinction of species. Are you buying time to wait for a Labor government? Well, this court case uh, has been some time uh, in the making, but it's an important legal uh, decision that's going to be made uh, a, a, a across the next few months after this uh, hearing today. Uh, in terms of timing with the, with the uh, future Labor government, uh, that, that's not something that's been in the consideration of the courts and it's not something which will be in consideration today. Uh, but certainly we could see a, a different government in the future. Uh, but, but irrespective of whether it's a Labor government or a Liberal government, the case is the same. We shouldn't be allowing extinction under our federal or state environmental laws. These are laws that were fought for by members of the community uh, and were never intended uh, to allow the extinction of species and to be used in this way to cause the extinction of species. That is what we'll be challenging in the court today uh, and, and we're hoping for a positive outcome.